I'm Kelly Harrell, author, animist, and creator of the Weekly Rune. Soul Intent Arts is my soul-tending practice, and you're listening to What in the Weird, my podcast in which I talk about runes, actionable animism, soul-tending, and how all of those intersect through sacred activism on my path. The Weekly Rune is out, and if you're not sure what it is, it's a runecast that I've done for years, focused on the runic calendar and the current half-month rune. The Weekly Rune is now available in full on Patreon.com. Just do a search for Kelly Harrell to find it, and you can find the archive of all past runecasts on my site, soulintentarts.com. If you're not sure what a half-month is or what the runic calendar is, Listen to the early episodes of What in the Weird, or just go read the weekly rune. It's explained fully at the beginning of every runecast. Thank you to everyone who listens to the podcast, to those who send notes and share their experiences of the runes. That's what it's all about, and I'm grateful for the engagement. I also want to thank my Patreon supporters who make the sharing of my rune work through the podcast and the RuneCast possible with their financial support. If you've benefited from the RuneCast, the podcast, or the ton of free articles on the runes, animism, and soul tending on my website, you can show your support through buying my books, which you can find at soulintentarts.com or Amazon, by making a one-time contribution through PayPal or Square, or by contributing regularly through Patreon. Just go to patreon.com and search for Kelly Harrell. You can also subscribe to the paid version of the Weekly Rune there, and thank you for it. This week's half-month rune is Soilu. Soilu, Soilu, whichever, however you say it. And it it rides in well-supported by absolutely gorgeous runes that everybody wants in their cast, right? I'm talking about Gabo and Burkana or Burkano, again, whatever suits you. If you want to know what the full cast means, check it out on Patreon. But in this episode, we're going to talk about mm, when you get the most uplifting, beautiful, fantastic cast ever. You look at the runes and you think, God, what beautiful runes. They all mean great things. Nothing's upside down. Nothing's converse. They're the best runes you could hope for, for pretty much any reading you would ever do, and you don't feel them at all. So this isn't coming out of nowhere. We had a little gathering of Patreon folks over the weekend, and um, someone who shall remain wonderful asked me, you know, well, what did you think about Solo this week? And I'm like, you know, I didn't really think anything about it. And so here's where that evolved. It happens, right? I mean, it, it, it inad- inadvertently, it happens that everybody else is all, ah, oh, the moon's in Capricorn, everything's great. And your tarot reader says, you know, your current job is the best job you could ever have. But, of course, no. The two, re- two ravens are sitting on your car when you're leaving for work, for school, whatever, this morning. And, you know, your first thought is, are there going to be dead things in the floorboard? You keep seeing 313 everywhere and bent staples, and you're like, I don't even know what to do with that. And now this week, we get probably the most perfect, beautiful, peaceful rune cast that we've had, I think, easily in the last, like, two years. Clear, clearly the sunniest rune cast we've had. The sunniest rune in the Futhark. And I'm just not feeling it. And I'm not talking about I'm not feeling it like I'm down, like I'm not sunny. I'm not talking about depression or denial or anything that is reactionary. I'm purely talking about, you know, you look at the thing, you you process the significance of the thing through your mind, and you get nothing, nothing. No resonance, no tingle. No, like, hint through your entire existence that it means crap to you or has any bearing on your life at the moment. Because that's how I felt when I did this week's RuneCast. And again, I'm not saying I don't feel the wisdom of Soilu. 
I, I totally feel it reminding me that I am part of the divine. I'm not saying that I'm not welcoming the sun or any of that jazz that comes along with solo. Solo is totally there for me. I feel interconnected in divinity. I haven't always, but I do at this particular time. I feel the seasonal sun progression. I see it. I'm seeing the results of it. Those things are embodied for me. And maybe that's part of the deal. Sometimes these little visitations aren't to point in the direction of what needs to be done, but of what has been done, what has been internalized. Maybe they're a reminder to see how far you've come with their focus. If you have been following the runes in season, you've been doing the runic book of days thing, and you kind of have a rhythm for this, or you just do it on your own, maybe these interjections aren't like to say here's where we need to shed light but to see where you already are lit and for me personally you know maybe I'm just sitting really well with Soila right now in my life and that observation is enough it doesn't need to be tingly and woo and shrouded in high ritual me being able to realize where I am with it really is fine because well, because something isn't synchronicity, it doesn't mean that it isn't serendipity. And yes, I'm using poor grammar just to make it rhymier. When we look at synchronicity, we tend to think of like A plus B has got to mean C. It just has to. And it's like it's, it's always dramatic, if not kind of melodramatic. And honestly, it's often really, really linear. Um, it doesn't have to be. And I challenge you to question whether it should be. We tend to look at omens and patterns and we get really rote about it. Like we're so freaking excited to finally figure out the places where we can absorb meaning from nature signs, nature spirits from the world around us, that we internalize them in this really concrete, linear way. But patterns aren't about shit repeating over and over the exact same way. I mean, if you think about it, the seasons are not the exact same every time. We kind of have a loose interpretation of when winter comes and spring starts, but it's not the same for everybody. It's not the same around the world. It's not the same across regions. It's not the same personally in our cosmologies. And so there's got to be some more nuance. There's got to be some more serendipity to our synchronicity and sort of building in a lexicon for how to view them for this moment to pick up the base aspects of what those components might mean. What do A and B mean? What have they meant in the past? What was the result of seeing them in the past? And say, hmm, what might this mean now? Not, oh my God, it's that again. But, but what might this mean for now? How might they fit together based on the circumstances of life right now? Not in the future, not in the past. So we have to hold it loosely. We, you know, we can even talk to them. We possess that ability. We're animists. We can talk to them and say, I see you again. We've met before. You know, what, what can we do together now? understand what they have to say about this moment. If we get habituated in how we look at our synchronicities, we will lose the serendipity. We, we won't be able to see what those things that we've learned have to do with now from a very active, dynamic, direct relationship standpoint. Serendipity is the now part. And really, it's not so much about the meaning you get from it, but that you paused to listen at all, that you stepped out of patterned movement or even in some cases stillness and observed. The half-month affirmation for Soilo from Runic Book of Days is all things through you I am. Soilo is all about direct relationship, not just your ability to identify a thing and say, ah, we are one, but to be able to identify with how you define that thing. They're not necessarily the same. 
You are not necessarily the same person who is greeting that pattern again. But to be able to step into this moment and see what it means, how it applies to now. Thanks for listening. If you have questions or insights about working with the runes in season, or you just want somebody to bounce your ideas off, feel free to email me at kelly, that's K-E-L-L-E-Y, at solentinarts.com, or you can call into the Anchor app, which you can download for Android or iPhone. Also check out earlier episodes by downloading them from Google Play or iTunes and various other podcast platforms. And you can learn more about me, Runic Book of Days, and my work by visiting solentinarts.com or on Instagram at Kelly Soul Arts. I'm Kelly, and this has been What in the Weird. Thank you.